Javi. It's a pleasure to see you once again on Football Planet, your program dedicated to football news in Africa and the globe. News are now focused on the coronavirus pandemic, which is upsetting everything. Even the African Nation Championship cannot escape it. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your loyalty to Africa News. The titles coming up. After the qualifiers for the African Cup of Nations, is the turn of the African Nations Championship to suffer from the coronavirus. After a period of hesitation, Cup final decided to postpone the tournament. This decision was inevitable due to the rapid spread of the disease in Africa. And now it is time for questions. What are the consequences after the postponement of Chan? Does the decision have a cost? Is it a surprise for Cameroonians? We will discuss this later with the sports marketing specialist Rakim Gasly Ogene, who will be speaking with us from Yaoundé, Cameroon. The health crisis is hitting footballers particularly hard with salary court, unemployment and isolation. Beninier's international Fabien Penola spoke to Football Planet about his daily life as an unemployed worker. You will hear more about it later in this program which continues just after this short break. Welcome to the show. It was to be expected with the spread of the coronavirus pandemic. The risks were enormous to maintain the African Nations Championship. CAF has therefore decided to postpone the tournament initially scheduled from April 4 to 25th. A decision which is not anonymous but which seems very logical in view of the concern raised by the COVID-19. The story is from Brice Kenyon and Ignatius Anor. It was the only choice. Postpone or break the health of stakeholders and a failure in the organization. Between these three, CAF finally took a decision. Sean Cameroon 2020 has been postponed to a later date. A difficult but inevitable decision for Ahmad Ahmad and his team under pressure since his election in March 2017. Once again, the coronavirus has finally imposed its law. Much to the disappointment of football fans and Cameroonian authorities, for whom this event was intended to serve as a signal to stifle skepticism about the country's ability to organize the CAN 2021. Now Cameroon has been presented with an opportunity to perfect its organization, as CAF has encouraged the nation to continue preparation. Even if some think otherwise, the postponement of Shan 2020 is far from dramatic. It now remains to be seen what impact it will have on the finances of CAF and the countries that had already invested in preparation. A question that will come up before Ahmad Ahmad when he takes stock of the coronavirus. The only opponent is mobilizing all the forces of African football at this moment. Yes, it will be a long and difficult battle for CAF in particular who, at the end of this crisis, will have to manage a crazy schedule. While uncertainty hangs over the future of the season, the presence of the body, Ahmad Ahmad, remains hopeful despite the anguish of the present. Take a listen. I know the disappointment from millions of African supporters in protecting the health of players, officials, partners, and especially the public. A priority. This health crisis will go down in history. It is a struggle waged to the whole world. And for my part, I hope that Africa plays an exemplary role in it. We continue to closely monitor the situation with the WHO, FIFA, the other confederations, even governments, and all of our partners around the world. Ahmad Ahmad, President of the African Football Confederation. In any case, we pray that this global health crisis will end quickly so that the passion for football can be revived. In the meantime, we're off to Cameroon Yaoundé to be precise to meet with Frank Gleslin Ogene, a specialist in sports marketing. Happy to have you once again in this show, Frank. First of all, did you really expect this in Cameroon? So it would be cynical to say that the news had been well received in Cameroon. It is true that we were already expecting it, and we should remember that the security measures put in place by the government were already beginning to take shape. So from that moment on, we knew that it had to be done. In fact, every country, whether in Europe or even here in Africa, had already started to close its borders. And when we saw the closure of borders in certain countries, we said to ourselves that it was clear 
that it would be done. So the news was rather well received, especially since the day before the Minister of Sports and Physical Education had sent a letter to CAF to say that the situation could be controlled. And there were already Cameroonians who had raised their voices to say no, it's better to be able to postpone the competition which will be held in Cameroon, but it should be done in the best condition. And so I think Cameroon or rather Cameroonians welcomed the postponement. And now we are in the process of preparing this party, which we hope will be one of the best Chan ever organized in Africa. So we are keeping our fingers crossed. So the big question now is, what are the consequences? What could the impact of this postponement be for Cameroon and CAF? If we need to talk in terms of impact, it might be from both a positive and a negative point of view. Yes, today it must be said that it is complicated for the Confederation of African Football, which had already mobilized two partners in the framework of this competition, notably the title partner, Total, which has nevertheless paid around $40 million to the Confederation of African Football for the organization of this competition. And then you have the official partner, One Xbet. Now, to come back to the economic impact in itself, it's true that it's huge. It's huge because when you see CAF today, it will in principle be obliged to extend its contract with Total or with one expert. Beyond that, CAF has to speak to communal authorities on the impact of this postponement will have. This is because the country has already incurred a number of expenses. It should be remembered that if you take infrastructure, Cameroon spent nearly 1.5 billion CFA francs, which is almost $3 million to set up this organization. And this $3 million represents a third of Cameroon's budget to set up the various infrastructures to host this competition. Beyond that, we have a big communication campaign prepared that have even been launched, with a third phase about to be launched. Also, there was a national tour of the mascots planned in collaboration with local partners who are also ready to commit. So let's say that it's very difficult economically. But the good news is that it allows us to take a step back, prepare the competition, and hope that Cameroon will be ready and that the party will be beautiful, as I said earlier. Thank you very much, Frank, and see you soon. Frank, Frank again, a sports marketing specialist speaking to us from Yaoundé in Cameroon. And we are following all this with a lot of attention beyond the end of the championship. The note will undoubtedly be very, very salty for the federations and the clubs. Some of them have already taken or are preparing to take measures such as short-time work, pick court and even dismissal. In Turkey, for example, with players from the Malata Spore have been sent on short-time break and remain confined in their homes, so they are forced to change their habit for a new way of life that is not very salty. It's true, but their families are happy we managed to talk to Benin international goalkeeper Fabien Fanole, who told us a little about how he spent his daily life on break. Take a look. On essaye de s'occuper. Bon, c'est très facile pour moi quand il y a trois enfants. We are trying to be busy. It's an easy thing for me. When you have uh, three children and you don't live with them on a daily basis, so I prefer to join them as quickly as possible so that I will spend time with them in confinement. We are all together as a family, so we take advantage to do things that we couldn't do before. We already do homework and then make meals with the family. Here we are trying to do everything. We are trying to play sports, of course, because a program has been given to us. So it's not easy, but it's better than being sick or anything like suffering physically or not being able to resume work. It's very complicated physically because uh, you get into bad habits. You lie down very quickly on the sofa. You sleep easily. So it's a bit hard to motivate yourself. But uh, we must be ready. We should try to be busy. After that, it's easy for me. I enjoy the family a lot. Anyway, a little prevention message. Wash your hands. Wear a mask if you have to go out.
Avoid contact. It's very important. Stay at home and take precautions beforehand. Stay strong and good luck. Fabien, Fabien Fanole, Malato Sport, goalkeeper and Beninese International, thanks again for this nice video. We wish you a lot of courage in this particular stressful moment that affects the whole football planet with many players testing positive. And to stand in the way of COVID-19, players, managers and fans are mobilizing alongside the doctors who are sacrificing their lives to save others. The fashionable stay at home challenge is all the rain to encourage people to stay at home. Take a look et chez eux. And that's where we part ways on Football Planet this week, thanks to the technical production team. The news continues on African News and AfricanNews.com. I wish you a great week with our programs. Don't forget to abide by the rule to avoid the coronavirus. See you soon.